All right, so just a few days ago, Russell Brunson and I, we did a webinar and on this webinar, uh, Russell made an offer for a $997 offer and absolutely crushed it. Got about 349 uh, unit sales in total. And in this video, I'm gonna be deconstructing to you exactly what we did. And when I say we, it's really like 98% Russell. I was just there kind of like the hype guy and uh, <laughs> adding in a couple of words, maybe every 20 minutes or so. Um, so basically the entire structure of this webinar is I filled the webinar, Russell spoke and uh, it was more of a JV. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly uh, what happened in the 90 minutes, how is it that Russell sold so well, and how you can utilize this same exact flow, this same exact scripting, uh, regardless of your market, regardless of your niche, regardless of your offer, and how do you actually make a really compelling presentation online or offline uh, as, soon, as long as you understand these few principles. Okay, so quick backstory. Uh, what we did was we sent people to this webinar and basically this webinar was called uh, Traffic Workshop. On this workshop, I'm going to walk you through exactly how this webinar looked like, how it sounds like, but much more than that, as we go along, I'm going to deconstruct and show you exactly what we did. I'm going to be showing you how many of these different techniques can be applied in your presentations. And this could be a sales video, this could be a webinar, this could be you speaking on large stages or small stages, um, as long as you understand these principles. So this was a two hour webinar. We're not going to go through the entire two hour thing. Uh, we're going to go through the important elements together. And uh, so let's get started. All right. And uh, Russell speaks very fast but we can't be here listening to an entire two-hour webinar so i am and i'll post the webinar link somewhere if you want to watch it um in actual one-on-one -on -one time but i'm going to put double the speed back uh, playback speed and if you heard russell speak for he already speaks really really quick and listening to him speak in <laughs> double time it's going to be uh amazing okay so let's let's listen to i'm going to pause as we go along so let's begin oh man look at the numbers this is crazy Okay, so this is where we started. This is where we started uh, getting people come in. So I'm gonna skip the fluff um, and uh, and uh, begin with the the good part. So we it's like probably five minutes in. Well, this is a two hour video because we left the video running for like thirty minutes for Q and A, uh, where my team and his team would be answering the questions. But the actual webinar itself was ninety minutes. So let's keep going. Dream too slow. Like your face froze up on me. Okay, so there's still fluff. Uh, so we thought, how can we serve people emotion right now? We said, well, what if we were looking at that lens and I just got slapped? I just lost my, my Google account or my Facebook account or my, my company just went under or whatever it was that just happened to you. And if we were looking at lens like you're just about to lose everything, then what if all the things you could be talking about, what are the three traffic secrets you have to use ASAP if you want to save your business today, right? To protect yourself today, then you're more important exponentially grow your business tomorrow. It's okay, so right now, if you notice what Russell's doing, is he's starting off by the hook, the payoff, and showing the audience why they need to listen to this by meeting them based on where they're at. So notice this slide, right? This slide is actually the slide deck that was on the webinar registration page. Um, and what he's doing here, I'm just gonna, we're gonna be taking notes together. Okay, so I'm gonna utilize this word called sidebar. And whenever I say sidebar, that means I'm gonna go out of presentation mode and deconstruct what it is that Russell just did. Okay, so sidebar. So what did Russell just do here? He started off with number one, this is like the hook. Um, this is the payoff. Um, and also he is kind of like talking about the title of the presentation um, that is congruent with the webinar registration page, right? So this is basically what's mentioned on the webinar registration page. So now there's congruency. But most importantly, this actually meets the messaging in terms of the conversation that people are happening, are having right now in the marketplace. So right now with the whole, this was like literally in the middle of, you know, countries getting shut down, the whole coronavirus. So we are meeting people based on the conversation that's in people's mind. And the question is, 
how can you actually apply that? How can you meet the conversation that's happening in your audience's mind? So right now, if you intend to do something in the middle of a crisis, people are fearful, they're scared, they're bored at home, they're quarantined. How can you utilize this messaging and meet them at where they're at? They're not thinking about 10xing their business. They're not thinking about crushing it. They're thinking about surviving right now so that they can thrive later on, right? So you could still be selling the same thing. Notice what we're doing here. Um, we're Russell at the end is still gonna make his main offer in ClickFunnels. But right now, he is starting to hook the payoff, the title, based on entering the conversation that is taking place in our audience's minds. Okay, so that's the first piece. The, the hook, the title, the payoff. So um, that's, that's what we're gonna be, that's what we're gonna be diving into, we're gonna be a lot of fun. So, um, the, the way that we're like, you stop slap from King, you're just doing the Google slaps. And any of you guys who've been doing this game for a long time, you may remember some of these things. And it's funny because they always remember really nice things, like, oh, the panda slap, and the penguin, and the hummingbird, and the pigeon. But for me, every time these slaps happen, I lost millions of dollars, and most people I know lost like, their entire businesses. It was Google changing the rules, they changed the algorithm, they make changes. So we all spending all this time and energy Trying to get ranked, trying to make money, and then boom, the panda slap came, and then the penguin slap, and, uh, and it literally shifted and, and destroyed a lot of people's businesses um, overnight. And what's interesting is a couple years ago, check out this slide over here, a couple years ago, Penguin and I had a chance. So, sidebar, so what did Russell just do? Right up to this point, the next thing that he did was he built a connection, and the second thing that he did here is he built rapport. The way he did that was from finding a common ground, right? Something in common that the two of us have in order to build that bridge with my audience, which is you guys, um, so that he can transition into his content, okay? So notice what he's saying here. He was actually in Boise when, uh, when Avengers Infinity War came out, and uh, we had a bunch of fighters members all kind of watched it together, and, uh, and you were there with us. Was okay, hard. so notice what he's saying over here. He's like, he was in Boise, and uh, the Avengers Infinity War came out, and we watched this movie together. So. Right now is building that common ground, that rapport, in order to uh, create a better bridge and a better connection with the audience. So what does this mean for you? It means that you wanna be able to think about how you can build that bridge, that connection with your audience that showed up to listen to that presentation that you are doing. So if you fill that presentation, that webinar with Facebook ads, like where did these audiences come from? Was it from you targeting, I don't know, Grant Cardone's followers? And if so, how can you utilize that messaging to build that bridge? Um, and let's say a lot of them are salespeople, right? So how can you make it related to, so here's how this is gonna help you improve your lead gen, your sales, your marketing, because now you're speaking their language. Now you're building that bridge and you're finding that common ground that your audience can relate to the people that showed up on your sales video, on your live event can relate to, okay? So that's what we're doing here. So that's why we're, he, he talked about the Avengers and how Mark Zuckerberg is like uh, <laughs> uh, Thanos where he can snap a finger and 50% of uh, marketers, uh, you know, die. And, and that's something that uh, I was telling Russell how, how I looked at the platforms today. So he's, he's telling this entire story, which I don't have to go deep into, and uh, that's what he's doing. He's building a repo, right? And upside bar. You got uh, Bezos here, you run to Amazon, right? And same thing, you can do the same thing as Snap. If you rely on Amazon, just being trapped for Amazon, it's the same thing. So it's happened over and over and over again uh, in businesses, but also, uh, that, oh, hopefully you guys can see this video. I know that the video's kind of lagging a little bit because of how many people are. <laughs> so now to further emphasize this, this piece here, he's showing the video of how um, it was an ad where marketers get, you know, destroyed or wiped out um, following that same theme. Right, so still based upon building a rapport with an audience, finding a common ground. The economic slaps are happening because of coronavirus and other things. And it doesn't matter if it's today, tomorrow, a year from now, these slaps are going to be coming and happening so we got to prepare ourselves for them. And so um, that's why we are, that's why we're having fun tonight with uh, sharing some of you guys. Um, a couple things to note, um, those guys who have had your world shift in the last couple weeks now, only a couple uh, interesting points. Number one is that most of the biggest companies uh, today all started during the Great Depression. In fact, I got some logos of some of the companies we know today that are huge, they all got started during. Now I know that Russell's talking at like, you know, uh, <laughs> insane speed, but the whole purpose of this is really that the, we, we, we don't have to look exactly what he's saying. The whole idea is to give you that structure again you can watch this entire video in normal one-on-one -on -one speed but now it's really about deconstructing it okay so what is he doing over here talking about companies that uh began during the depression and the story of uh forest gump and all of that let me just go through a few more things and then i'll deconstruct uh what he's doing and by the way guys when as you're watching this before i feed you the answers try to just constantly think about like why did russell do that why did he say what he just said 
um, and try to think about that first before I feed you the answers, okay? So that's one of the best ways to actually learn um, by modeling someone else, but also deconstructing it. But the only boat that survived was Lieutenant Dan and Forrest Gump's boat, and they were found in the factory. He looked over, all the other boats were demolished and destroyed on the island because they weathered the storm. They ended up getting the entire uh, line share of the business, and um, and that they became um, they became public property. Okay, so notice that right now, right up to this point, he's talked about the Google slap, Facebook slap, Amazon slap. He's relating it to the economic slap, the depression the recession, and as well as right now, the middle of the, the crisis, the virus, right? So ultimately what he's doing is this third piece over here. So we're now moving on to number three. And the next thing you wanna do is you wanna tell your audience what's in it for them. What's in it for me? That's what your audience is thinking, okay? You wanna be thinking about why should they stay till the end? Why should your audience listen to you for the next 90 minutes, for the next 60 minutes, whether it's live in person, whether it is on a webinar, whether it's on a sales video, what's in it for them, okay? What is, what is the payoff? What is the benefit of them staying till the end? So what Russell's doing is he's, he's explaining what the payoff, which is basically, if you watch till the end of this video, start asking yourself, how can you start constructing sentences like, by the end of this presentation, by the end of this webinar, you will discover the number one mistake most investors make when it comes to investing in property. By the end of this uh, webinar, you will discover my five-step system to running profitable virtual events and how you can do that as well, even if you are starting off as an absolute beginner, right? By the end of this presentation, what's gonna happen? What are they gonna get? What is the payoff, okay? So what Russell is saying is, notice it's really, um, by the end of this webinar, you'll discover why most companies um, that started, that's thriving today, started off in the Great Depression and how you can actually utilize this time, the time when you're quarantined, when you're stuck at home, um, into doing something meaningful, something that's productive. So that's the payoff, right? As long as you understand these different principles, right? So now what we're doing is we are hooking the audience to want to stay till the end. This is for retention, okay? End of sidebar. So we're giving these different examples and then now it would be why traffic? Uh, the brick and mortar businesses, right? You have people who walk past and they walk in the door, right? they walk by traffic, right? As soon as, as, soon as the numbers are going to go, they have more traffic. What happens? The business stop and the class. But if you can get traffic to your business, I don't know if you're online or offline, that is your life reserve to go protect you during this crazy time. And number two is, if let's say you just lost your job or you just like, uh, you know, your, your business got, got hurt really bad, traffic is literally your new opportunity, right? This is the future. The most valuable skill that anybody can have in business is to be able to get customers in. Okay, so notice what the next thing is, is this is more towards like, who is this for? Okay, so why traffic? So Russell's introducing traffic over here, but what he's also doing is you want to think about addressing who is it for. So he's making it inclusive. What he's doing is um, if you are a business owner and how traffic will actually help and benefit you. And if you are not a business owner, how understanding and mastering traffic would be a great opportunity for you. Okay. So ask yourself in your presentation, can you actually mention and start off, because that's what the audience is thinking. So I'm different. How can I apply this to me? So if you currently are doing this, here's how it benefit you. If you are currently not doing this, here how this thing will benefit you, right? So it would be like, if, if the big promise is on um, showing you how you can start creating presentations. So who is this for? If you've never done a presentation before, you have a really clear outline on how to do presentations. And if you are already doing presentations right now, if you're already running your own events, your own webinars, uh, by the end of this webinar, you will see how you can actually double your close rate as long as you understand these few principles, right? So who is it for? And that's what uh, Russell's doing over here, talking about the three things now. So after he talks about who it's for, let's, let's continue. Okay, so we have three secrets we're going to be covering during this presentation today. Uh, secret number one, we're talking about an untapped traffic source that's hidden in plain sight, almost everyone else is missing. Yet we understand it, it's actually worth more than any other traffic source online combined. Number one. Uh, number two, we're talking about the secret breaking funnel makes all my traffic better than free. I'm going to show you behind the scenes some really cool funnels, show you the staff and numbers and how it works. Uh, our ad costs, our conversions, all kinds of stuff. I'm going to show you how to get the exact same customers. We're currently going to your competitors' funnels to start coming to your funnels instead. 
Okay, so notice now um, what he's doing is he is giving the overview of the three secrets, right? So, um, which brings us to number five, okay? So the next thing here, what Russell is doing is it's very, very structured, okay? So now he's talking about the overview of the content, okay? Which is, in this case here, it's three secrets. Now, you wanna think about what is your overview of your content? And uh, this could be the three steps, three techniques, five pillars. You'll notice that whenever you see my webinars, I have kind of moved away from three secrets. And the reason for that is because um, while three secrets works for pretty much any market, any niche, um, I see a lot of marketers in the marketing uh, niche using that a lot and that the reason the whole reason because of that is because Russell talks a lot about that in his books in his teachings so um, but so if if you are catering to a non marketing crowd three secrets is amazing um, but ultimately over here what Russell's doing is he's giving the big picture so that people understand okay it's very structured this is what I'm gonna get here's what I'm gonna discover uh, from this webinar secret one two three Okay, so he's talking about the secrets and let's talk about secret number one. Uh, this is something that I've heard before, but I want to share it because amazing simple advice but it is the key that most people understand. Yep. Okay, so notice that this first secret is the untapped traffic source that is hidden in plain sight that almost anyone is missing yet is worth more than any other traffic uh, source online combined. Okay, so over here, this is uh, number six, okay, sidebar. So what is Russell doing? So secret number one, what Russell's doing is he's teaching by answering objections. Okay, now we'll, we'll come to that deeper in a second. But usually what Russell does in this case here is it's about the opportunity or the vehicle, okay? So here's the differentiator. Um, I truly learned this the hard way, but the best of the best presenters and closers don't teach for the sake of teaching. They teach by answering objections, okay? So what is secret number one about? It is the vehicle. It is about traffic. And um, it is talking about how this traffic source, it's like the new opportunity, the one that's missing, yet it's worth more than all the traffic sources combined, right? So how does he teach this? Strategically, okay. Listen to this. Yes, ready for some notes in the chat box. Let's see it. And he's at least uh, the twenty-five hundred people on it. And he's at least a hundred people saying yes, you're ready. Okay. All right. Now, and now we're like, that's ready. Here they go. Okay. Let's jump right in now. Okay. I want you guys. Hopefully, at this point, you guys all the traffic secrets. But we're shipping There are twenty traffic secrets I covered in this book. But all the traffic secrets are inside the book. There's one that is the most important and the least understood by most business owners. Okay. There are three types of traffic we talk about. The book. There's traffic you control, the traffic you earn, and the traffic you earn. Okay. So what's traffic control? Okay. So now he's teaching the different types of traffic. Okay. But ultimately, the most important one is he's talking about building a list, okay? And if you have a list, and now, I want you to imagine this for a second, okay? Now, you're, you're not gonna see this just yet, but this is where it is super powerful. This is the number one differentiator between world-class and average, okay? So what is, what is he talking about? You see, right now, Russell has talked about secret number one, the most important traffic source of them all, okay? Notice that he's saying it's building a list. And right now, at secret number one, at the end of it all, after he asks if you have a list, he's saying, okay, so here's how you can actually, if you already have a list, how you can actually revive your list and get them engaged again. So now he's talking about the subscriber reviver process. And you're gonna notice something. It's that later in the presentation, in the offer, in the close, this is going to be part of the offer and the close. It's gonna be part of the stack. Okay, now this is something, if you truly understood this, this is the thing that, one of the many things that separates world class from average. You see, average marketers will always try to build up the value of something during the offer or the close. Now, what Russell's doing here is he is marinating the value 
of the offer later on in his presentation. Let me see if I can just kind of scrub through and see where this would appear later on, okay? So notice that as I scroll and scrub through the offer, okay? Um, as I'm scrolling and scrubbing through the offer, I wanna be able to see if I can find it, okay? Okay, so right now we are on the 22nd minute, okay? Let me just, let me just write it down over here so that, so that we remember, right? 22nd minute. Um, this is where he talks about the subscriber reviver. And what I'd like you to notice is, we'll come back to this in a second, okay? But during the offer and the close, you will see that as part of the stack. Okay, so here we are. Notice that right now, this is one hour and one minute in. Let me ask you this. Does this image here look familiar? You see, this is the next ultra ninja thing that you guys got to be doing in your presentations and your pitches, which is to ask yourself the thing that you want to offer later on in your presentation, how can you include it as part of your teaching, as part of your content to build the value of which, of what you're going to eventually offer. So notice that right now in the one hour mark when Russell's making his offer, Okay, and we're kind of like kind of jumping back and forth to show you how it's everything is strategically linked together. Okay, so in the 22nd mark, okay, I'm gonna go back here. Take a look at this, right? So notice that as part of Russell's teaching in secret number one, he's actually future pacing and building up value for something that he's going to offer later on. He's he's emphasizing on the importance of building up your list as well as reviving your current subscriber base, talking about uh, this offer here that is eventually going to be part of his stack. Okay, let me, let me just play this thing real quick. It's how you do it for them. That little simple six-day email sequence. Warm somebody up and get sent. That gets your list. You don't know who you are, hurt or new in the past. Get to remember you are. And now they get prepped, prepped and ready to actually purchase something from you. From the fastest ways to take cold and dead, the list is taken through the subscriber reviver sequence. We'll talk about sequences here in a minute. In a minute, but I just want to kind of... Okay, so notice what he's saying, right? So Russell's saying, so the best way to kind of revive your list is to get them go through a subscriber reviver list. And basically, here's what needs to happen on the six day, uh, on the different first six days, right? So, so now people are like, okay, great. I know I need to do this. And now in their minds is in the next one hour, they're thinking, oh man, I need to revive my subscriber list. I need to revive my subscriber list. I need to revive my subscriber list. And guess what? Boom, when he makes the offer, the first bonus that you get or the first thing you're gonna get is, remember this? We talked about reviving your subscribers um, and, and reviving them. The first thing that you're gonna get is, right? So I, I don't wanna jump too far ahead, but I want you to start noticing what he's doing. Um, and there's a reason why, you know, Russell closes so well. Okay, they're all, all, it's not teaching for the sake of teaching, it's teaching very strategically, okay? Which then brings us to the next piece, right? Let's continue. End of sidebar. Very first month, I learned my list, and I started focusing on it. My first month, I got, um, I still remember this day, 217 people doing my list, and that month, I made 300 dollars. I was like, okay, this, this is working. So I was like, I need to get, I need to focus on doing my list. I took that money, I reinvested in my list bigger, and the next month, I had over 1,000 people on my list, and I made over 1,000 dollars. I kept going up from there. So for anybody who's sitting here, like, I, I don't want this to be my business, I want to understand how to get trapped. Okay, so notice right now, what Russell's doing here is he is constantly hammering on this traffic source, which is vehicle, uh, where the vehicle is uh, building a list. And now he is going through the math behind it. And the reason why you would want to do something like that is because there's always people who make decisions based on emotion. And there's always people who base it on logic, which is like the numbers, right? So now the next piece of his content in, in secret number one, the vehicle is he's talking about the numbers behind it. So marketing math. So if you could build a list of 100,000 people on your list, um, what, what is he doing over here? This is basically the logic side of it. This is the numbers. Ask yourself, when you are teaching stuff, can you include the numbers in there so that it now, like, oh, okay, it, th th this makes sense. So logically speaking, people who are left brain, who are very, very analytical, they're looking at the numbers, it'll be like, oh yeah, okay, here's why, I can see why I need to build a list, okay? So um, he's talking about building a list, okay? 
and uh, importance of that. And how do you build a list? Here's what you do. Okay, I'll come to, we'll, we'll do a sidebar in a second. Let's watch what he's doing. Literally one page. This is Brendan Richard. He's got a list of over a million people. He created this one page productivity planner uh, for CEOs and achievers worldwide. And people give them the name email address and he gives them this one piece of paper. Right? But a list of a million people by doing something very simple, very basic. So it doesn't have to be like, they sometimes people think lead magnets these big elaborate things, like be a piece of paper. Okay, so now he's talking about how to build a list, create a lead magnet. You want to build a squeeze page. You want to be able to do all that. So now, as Russell is talking about all these different sequences, okay? You want to build a list. You want to be able to have the subscriber, reviver, follow-up funnel. Uh, you want to be able to do this and you want to have your, your uh, these are different funnel templates. And notice that as you talk, uh, as he, he talks about all these different lists, okay, from, from creating a lead magnet in order to, and how to build a list, what he's really doing as well is he's actually marinating okay now so what right now which brings us to number seven is he is actually marinating the value of what he's eventually going to sell now what does that mean it means that when you are teaching your audience something a piece of content ask yourself how can i build up the value of what it is that i'm going to offer eventually so Russell's doing two things over here. Okay, so what has he done? He has built up the value of the importance of reviving your subscribers. He's also marinating the value of building up a funnel that enables you to capture leads. And what he's really doing is he's actually marinating in the value of his software, um, which is ClickFunnels that helps people build up these different pages. Okay. So as a person's watching this, not only are they learning and they are discovering stuff, it is actually making the audience salivate and, and going, yeah, I, I want to have that. Like, this is what I, this is what I want to do. So the question I want you to ask yourself is, as you are teaching, think about your content as the content that makes them thirsty so that you can sell them a drink later on. You are also at the same time, you are teaching them how to fish. Yes, you're educating them, you're giving them value, but the whole purpose of that is also so that you can sell them a fishing rod later on, right? So teach them how to fish, sell them a fishing rod, which is what Russell's doing here really well. He's now teaching them how to fish. He's making the audience that's watching this webinar thirsty, where he's eventually going to sell a drink. So, and the way he's doing that right now is he's marinating value in, not just by teaching, but also by anchoring in the value of what it is that he's going to offer later on, okay? That brings us to the second thing he teaches, okay? Secret number two, the secret break-even funnel that makes all of my traffic better than free. Let's listen to how this is positioned. Secret number two, the walkies through the secret breaking funnel makes all my traffic better than free. Okay? So uh we'll show you guys earlier traffic viewer. And so a lot of times when I do this week, I'm not selling anything yet, I sell it later on the ball funnel. A lot of times because I can't spend a lot of money to, to generate traffic, right? A lot of times I'm using uh, traffic that I earn, my free traffic to push people through squeeze page like that. Now if I want to spend a lot of money and grow this, then I focus on traffic I control. How do I create something so I can buy a lot of traffic? Okay? Uh, and then walk you through the process. So my uh, my first mentor, Dan Kennedy's. Okay, so as Russell is talking about this, okay, so now he's talking about the best way. So that's what what is secret number two? Secret number two is the secret break-even funnel that makes all of my traffic better than free, okay? So now, he's talking about the break-even funnel, he's talking about the free plus shipping funnel, and he is utilizing his latest free plus shipping funnel, which is the traffic secrets funnel, to further illustrate this point. So he's giving um, examples of why you could be utilizing a free plus shipping funnel, so that, again, it hammers in the fact that when you're able to do this, you're still building your own list, uh, but now you're building a list for free because now you can cover your advertising cost. And then notice that he is now demonstrating the ease of use of the software. Okay, and now in order to do this, so let's see what happens next. Surveys, there's countdown timers, there's icons, there's images, there's navigation, there's pricing tables. There's a progress bar. I threw it in there, put a couple buttons, and I can make an amazing progress bar. I got stripes too if I want. If you haven't seen my page or Andrew's page, they were all really good designers, but literally, it's just this is all Okay, so let's 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 move on to a sidebar, okay? And notice what he's doing, okay? So number eight, 
which is now secret number two. What he's really doing is he is teaching, but he's also answering a huge, huge limiting belief, a huge objection, which is what I say is the mother of all objections, which is the objection about themselves, sometimes known as the internal objection, which is objections like, oh, but I'm too old to do this, but I'm too young to do this, but I'm not good looking enough to do this, but I don't have the tech skills, but I'm a total beginner. This is what your audience is thinking about you. The first objection people have is the objection about the vehicle, right? Now, this is just, the, that's the first surface level objection. After they believe you and that vehicle, the next thing that people are telling themselves is, well, of course you can do it because you have some superpower, but here's why I can't do it. I can't do it because. Now, what Russell is doing over here is by demonstrating the ease of building up these pages, he's actually answering a huge objection, which is, oh, but Russell, I'm not a programmer. I'm not a tech person and I'm not a coder. How would I be able to build up these funnels if I'm not a tech person, if I don't know coding, if I, if I don't know graphic design? So right now with this pre-recorded video, that's like, I don't know, 50 seconds, Russell is showing how easy it is to actually build a really good funnel that enables him to get traffic for free, right? So that's what he's doing right now in Insight Secret number two. Let's continue watching. What's cool is they're shipping ads and say, this ad's been running for seven days and stop. But this ad's been running for three years and still running right now. You know, if you don't have to run for three years and still run right now, we'll know about that. Well, it's probably working, right? Hopefully. So you look at it, so this is data working. So now you know a few things. You know exactly where they're advertising, where they're getting traffic from. Number two, you know exactly what they're saying. So you click on their ad, okay? Excuse me. So if you know what they're, uh, where they're advertising, what they're saying, what you need to do, okay? We should model works, right? So I'm going to get banner ads. I'm going to get very similar. I'm going to model the message. I'm going to model... So right now, what Russell is doing, if you have, um, as I'm going through this, 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 this process with you, notice that he's actually making it, this, this portion here, um, to show you that you can actually doing it. You can actually go do it yourself really easily without being a programmer, without being a designer, without being a coder. Because he knows that that is probably one of the biggest objections people would have when it comes to building funnels. Oh, but funnel seems really complicated. Um, I don't know if I can actually do it. And he's actually demonstrating it to show you to answer that objection, that internal objection. So the question you want to ask yourself is. What is your audience's internal objection about themselves? Which is, uh, you can do it, but I can't because, okay? And you need to incorporate that as part of your presentation, okay? What do you think your audience is saying? Oh, so if let's say, if let's say your, your vehicle, okay, over here. So let's say your vehicle is, let's take a random one, publishing a book. Okay, and you're telling people secret number one to get more reach, better positioning is in publishing a book. Here's why, right? Books could be, could help you get on radio, TV, newspaper, it could be all these different things. And then they'll be like, so your audience will be thinking, okay, I believe that publishing books is a great way to go. Oh, but here's why I can't do it. Okay, internal. I can't do it because I don't know how to write. I'm not good at English. I don't know the publishing game. So secret number two would be how to publish your book, even if your English is broken, even if you're not a writer, um, even if you're new to this game, okay? So secret number two could be about outsourcing and how to find writers to write based on your voice, your story, and your messaging, okay? So I would actually show them how that's done, demonstrate it so that it answers that objection of, oh, I see. So now I can see why I can publish books as well, without being a writer, without being good in, 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 in with, a good, with a strong command of English. And I hope you're writing this down as, because this is in depth, right? Your entire presentation is a close. If you have been strategically answering all of your audience's objections throughout your presentation, during your offer, during your close, there, are no, there will be no objections left. Does that make sense? Okay, so this would be uh, secret number two. Let's see where secret number three is. Ah, there we go. Okay, secret number three. Okay, I, I think I jumped ahead a little bit. That's fine. Secret number three is how to get the exact same customers who are currently going into your competitors' funnels and start coming to your funnels instead. Okay, let me just quickly play you, let's say, another 20 seconds to see how it's positioned. And then again, I'll deconstruct what he's doing and how you can utilize this piece here as well. So I've got having front-end funnels that are super popular, so you can pay to grow this very, very rapidly. The secret number three, I want to show you guys a couple different uh, techniques to get traffic really quick, okay? Secret three is how to get the exact same customers who are currently going to your competitor's funnels, start coming to yours instead. I want to start with a video clip, we're soon having this. Yes, this was before? 
Uh, I'm hoping you guys can hear the, the video on this. Okay, so notice what he's doing now. Right after he's talked about funnels and ease of use of building funnels by showing you that, you know, he could do it in like 59 seconds, that's when he moved on to secret number three, okay? And secret number three, what he's doing over here, number nine, secret number three is to think about what is the external objection, okay? What other excuses or reasons might your audiences still have in terms of why they can't do this. So right now, notice what Russell has done. He has talked about how amazing the vehicle is, which is building a list. He has talked about the internal objections by actually showing and demonstrating the ease of building a funnel so that people can see that they can build it as well really easily. But secret number three is to think about what other excuses do they still have. Now, if you take a look at this secret over here, which is, the exact same way, how to get the same exact customers who are currently going to competitors' funnels to start coming to your funnels instead. Now, what, notice what he's really doing. He's answering other forms of reasons or justifications on why a person might still say they can't do it, okay? So right up to this point, what other excuses could a person still have, okay? So here's, what's, here's the conversation that's taking place right now. They're saying, okay, I understand that sales funnels and, and traffic and building a list is crucial. I understand that right now, I can actually do it really easily without being a programmer, designer, or coder. Oh, but wait a second, Russell. Here's why it still will not work. It still will not work because even if I built the funnel and even if I got it up and running, I don't know how to get traffic. So I don't know how to get traffic, so this whole thing won't work anyway. I could build my funnel, but because I don't know how to drive traffic, um, that's why this thing will not work, okay? And that's basically the external. The question I want you to ask now is, what other excuses does your audience have on why it still won't work? And then incorporate that as part of your presentation, as part of your webinar, as part of your sales video, as part of your Facebook Live, all right? as part of your pitch. So now, because Russell understands that that's an, a, a huge objection, what is Russell doing? Russell is showing the audience how simple it is to actually drive traffic through modeling. Now, I'm not gonna go deep into this content because again, you can watch the video. We'll have that video here in the description box below. But rather, notice what he's doing. He's answering a huge objection um, on why it still won't work, which is I don't know how to drive traffic. And he's turning that objection into a teaching material which is, here's why, even if you don't know how to drive traffic, it's actually a super simple process that you can utilize by through, through, through the modeling process, right? So that is the purpose of his secret number three. How can you start utilizing this, okay? Now, once he has done that, okay, now this is a super important piece, very, very important slide, uh, so, and I wanna kinda decrease this this playback speed so you listen to his messaging a little bit. Let's talk about and see what he's doing next. I feel like I'm fired with my mouth for the last hour. So I'm guessing some of you guys may feel this way as well. So I apologize in advance. Um, but I did that because I wanted to make sure you guys get these core principles um, in your mind. And obviously, um, now that you guys have kind of understood this, you see the power in it, um, I want to ask you guys if you'd be interested in, uh, in working with me over the next long term to help implement these things into your business, right? To help you get funnels help. Okay, so what is this next piece here? Um, after he has covered secret one through three, the next thing he's doing, number 10 over here, is basically uh, permission to reveal. This is permission to reveal the system, the offer, um, on how to accelerate and get faster results, which is basically what you need to be doing. For a really long time, um, I didn't know how to do this. Um, I would be teaching, and then there would be like this weird, awkward transition in my earlier days of speaking. Um, but I realized that it was really just a 30 second thing, which straight up, very transparent, asking the audience on, now that you've learned these different steps, these different secrets, these different techniques, would it be okay with you if I shared with you how you can accelerate and get faster results? Um, is it okay if I share with you the system that has helped me, not just me, but my students from all over the world, so that you can decide for yourself if you, if it's a good fit for you, right? So all you're doing right now is, it's called a permission to reveal right? Um, and that is what Russell is doing over here, okay? So uh, let's see how he leads into this next section.
to building up a really, really compelling offer. Insane offer for you guys. I want to walk through. I'm going to spend probably 15 minutes going through it with you guys. This is an offer. I just want to tell you guys. I tell my team what it is. This is the best offer I've ever put out there. It's the lowest price we've ever had. Click funnels these things forever. Uh, Payne June has a really good way of twisting my arm and getting me to do things I don't normally do. And so we'll make this offer for you guys today. I've not even given this offer to my own customers yet. Uh, you guys are the first ones to ever see this. And so um, I'm going to walk you guys through it, but I promise you it's going to blow your mind every you guys can get. And it's going to help you get started as soon as really possible. Yep. So here's what we're going to get when you guys get started tonight. The first thing I'm going to give you guys is six months of click funnels for free. That means. Okay, so notice right now. He is now moving on to the next big chunk of the presentation, which is basically the offer or the stack. Okay, so notice that the part number one is really the open. Okay, so so I'm, I'm gonna go back here and show you like the big, big chunks of, of the presentation right now. Okay, so over here, like number one to number five, okay, this, this is section, this is the first part. Okay, this first part is basically, this is the open, okay? Then, the next big chunk over here, okay, secret one, two, three, all of that, this is basically uh, portion number two, which is teaching the content, okay? And then number three here, which is where we're at, is where he is making the, the offer, sometimes known as a stack. Right? So right now, I'm just gonna show you, once he has made the permission to reveal, he is going to offer a bunch of different things. Okay, so notice the first thing that he offered, okay, so item number one, I'm just gonna put item number one as this, this person over here, okay? Um, this would be six months of click funnels. Okay, now, notice that he is not talking about what click funnels is anymore. Why? Because he, so now he is no longer establishing the value of how much click funnels is worth because he has actually marinated. Remember, we talked about the value marinate. He has actually marinated by displaying how easy and crucial it is to build your own funnel, but also how simple it is to build your own funnel when he talks about secret number two, right? So now people are thinking, oh man, I, I, I want to be able to build the funnel. I understand the importance. I understand it. it's super simple. Do it myself because Russell has been showing it um, throughout the presentation. So now this six months worth of click funnels, there's a value established in there already. Okay. So let's go back to double timing our speed again. Um, and see how he's doing this next piece. You can go there because all the traffic, all the traffic to a funnel, you need a funnel, you have to have this most important piece of the puzzle. So you need to click funnel for free for six months. That way you guys can start using the software and you don't have to worry about any of the payments and things like that. How many of those are free? Okay, so now he's building up the, um, the value of six months, but notice what he's doing here, okay? This is crucial, okay? Let's, 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 let, let, let me see if I can go back a little bit. Now what you're doing, you need to click funnel, you have to build lead funnel, and survey funnel, and summit funnel, and book funnel. Okay, so remember this? You'll be able to build your lead funnel, summit funnel, cart funnel, e commerce funnel. People are not, new, they're not new to this concept anymore because he has built up the value of what these funnel types and the payoff of these funnel types in the presentation earlier on. This is not the first time he's bringing up the concept of these funnels, okay? So understand this piece over here, okay? If you can connect your offer with your content by showing people and educating them beforehand of the value, this is when they're already sold. Like, oh, I understand the payoff and value and benefit of this. I want, I want this, okay? The cart funnels, the channel funnels, the DSL funnels, the webinar funnels, the auto webinar funnels, the product launch funnels, the phone funnels, and all much more. All the funnels that you need to create, you create your inside your ClickFunnels account. And you're also going to get rid of a lot of stuff. I always tell people ClickFunnels should never cost anybody anything because of how much money you actually save when you start using it. Okay? Because when you start using it, you're going to get rid of any other landing page software you're using, any split testing software, your shopping cart, you get rid of your email responders, your text message responders, your automated webinar software, your affiliate software, your membership site software, you get rid of Photoshop, you can get rid of WordPress, you can buy your web host, you can buy your. Okay, so notice what he's doing this. He's, he's not just showing you the value of this, but he's also establishing how much it would save you by utilizing this software. Because now you'll be able to fire all of your programmers, all of your designers. You don't need to use Photoshop. You don't need your own membership site software. And now you got to ask yourself, okay, sidebar. So how does it actually either make your audience money, either it makes them or it, it saves them a certain amount, okay? That's what he's doing over here. Now, notice that what he's emphasizing on is not what it is, but what it does. Okay, now this is huge. What it is versus what it does. 
Now, most of the time, people talk about what it is. Okay, I'm, I'm, now I'm gonna spend like a couple of minutes here because this is so crucial for you guys. So let's say you are selling a training and membership site online. What most people would say is what it is. And what it is would be like, it's a membership site. Um, you get your logins, your username and password. And when you log in, you'll be able to see that there are a lot of videos. There's like 76 videos in there. And uh, these videos, they're like 45 minutes each. They're five different modules, right? Nobody cares. Nobody cares about the login, how it's being delivered. Nobody cares about how long those videos are. Nobody cares about... So notice that right now, what Russell is not putting emphasis on is like click funnels and how when you log in, here's what you're gonna, gonna see. He's, he doesn't talk about what it is. He talks about what it does, the benefits, what it means, what it, so what it, so it, in, in other words, if you don't focus on what it means or what it does, is that what it does is you'll no longer need all these other softwares, all these other programmers and designers, and you'll be able to replace it with this one thing. And what that means is it's gonna save you thousands, if not tens and thousands of dollars a year, just by switching over to ClickFunnels. Okay, so you gotta ask yourself and be able to make that distinction. Whether you're selling training, whether you're selling coaching, whether you're selling a service, whether you're selling a live event, right? Here's how most people sell live events. When you when somebody asks a person, so so what's what's the three day live event about? What's funnel hacking about? If you mention what it is, it will be like, well, it's 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 uh, three days. Um, the first speaker would be um, Russell Brunson, really amazing speaker. And then like, uh, th there's usually like a, a, a 15 minute break after. And then the second speaker, man, the second speaker, he's the co-founder. His name is Todd Dickerson. And he's like the behind the scenes guy. He's the guy that created ClickFunnels, like coded it. Now that's, that's what it is. What it does is, man, I don't even know what the three days about, but when you complete, when you walk out of the three days, you'll be get able to get out of your own way. You'll be able to have clarity on what funnels that's actually profitable that you need to work on right now. That's what it does, right? So I'm just showing you the difference between emphasizing on what it is versus what it does. Notice that Russell is just focusing on what it does. And you'll notice this a lot as we move on and continue going into his offer. Okay, listen. Okay, so notice now he's talking about what it does. It saves you money. Okay. Um, and then, so that's the first one, right? Item number one is the software itself. Let's listen to how he positions the next thing. I know I want to do a webinar. You can go to that training, watch a webinar funnel. Okay, I want to sell a book. I want to sell a high ticket on the phone. If all the training's in there, you can watch the video and watch through exactly how to do it. Uh, now, so you guys like Russell, my technical, I'm a tech guy, I'm a tech guy. If you do that, so you can Okay, so notice, okay. Um, right now, the next thing he's positioning, okay. So the next thing he's doing, number two, okay. Item number two, um, let me just put another head over here. It would be the, the seven week masterclass. Notice that this seven week masterclass, again, the languaging, notice that he doesn't say, okay, on week one, we're gonna go into the lead funnel training. This training is two hours long. Um, you'll be able to get all of the PDFs that comes with it. I'll also be able to give you a mind map, right? He doesn't talk about any of that. He's just focusing and hammering in on what it does. Okay, so what it does is if you wanna be able to build up an e-commerce funnel, you go straight into an e-commerce funnel and bam, by the end of the training, your, your entire e-commerce cart will be up and running and you'll be able to process payments for anyone anywhere in the world as long as they go to Visa, MasterCard, American Express, okay? I don't know if he, he said that exactly, but I'm utilizing that as an example to show you that he doesn't talk about what the module is called, how many videos are there, how long the videos is, which is how most average marketers and presenters position their offer. Right? People don't care about what it is. They only care about what it does. Next one. Notice what he's doing. Okay, listen to this. So notice what he's doing is because as part of the second item, he's, he's giving trainings on funnels. 
he is now showing case studies of people that has just implemented one of those different trainings. People like Liz Benny, who has done the webinar funnel. So now people are able to see, the audience is able to see, wow, if I only did one of those seven trainings, I don't have to do all seven of them. If I only did like the webinar funnel, Liz Benny got 35 clients at $997 each. So what is he doing? It's he's showing that potentially, potentially, and that's the keyword here, just one of those trainings, if you if implemented, could potentially be worth $35,000. That's what he's doing, okay? So now, as we progress, he's gonna be showing more uh, and, and, and uh, different case studies. Next one, okay, let's see what he does. University. Now, this is the print newsletter I've been running for almost five years now. Every single month, I did two funnels, and I funnel happened to write about page by page every single page inside the funnel. Okay, here's an example. All the funnels we've done. There's literally like 70 something funnels in here. Um, in the past, you print newsletter, you ship it to people. I'm gonna give you guys the digital PDFs. You can download all, all 74 funnels. You can see behind this every funnel you can dream of from local funnels, presidential funnels, to supplement funnels, to, to um, digital marketing funnels, to <coughs> every funnel in here. So I break it. Okay, so notice that what he's doing next is he's including and introducing item number three. Okay, item number three over here. And this is basically his funnel swipe file. Okay. Now, what is a swipe file? Notice that this component over here is something that implies is actually done for you, right? His messaging is, I've done all of the work, I've done the research, I funnel hacked all these different funnels in the last couple of years, and I wanna be able to straight up give them to you so that you can model them, copy them, utilize them, deploy them immediately. Now, this is the next thing you wanna be thinking about. You see, Right up to this portion, right up to this part, notice that click funnels as a tool, okay? This is do it yourself. You get the software, you can go do it yourself. Notice that this portion over here, which is the seven week masterclass, this is a, a done with you type of experience. You log into the portal, there are, seven, there are seven weeks worth of training, we'll do it together. You can follow my training, pause, implement, we'll do it together. But what is the swipe file? If you wanna start charging more for your products, programs, and services, if you wanna increase the perceived value of what it is that you do, have something that implies is done for you. Words that you could utilize is things like model, copy and paste, swipe and deploy, fill in the blanks, you'll get all of our scripts, right? So, so ask yourself, a much more powerful piece than just training, because people, there's tons of training and information out there, is how can you give them this resource? Which could be like, um, in my last couple of years of doing this, um, let's say it's if it's closing people on, on the phone, I'm not sure why I'm utilizing this remote, uh, <laughs> remote control, but if it's, it's a phone training, right? So it would be, as part of this training on how to close on a phone, I'm literally, gonna give to you the same phone sales script that I personally use that my salespeople utilize so that you can model it, fill in the blanks, or just change the company name to match the context of your industry and the audience that you serve, right? So, so the do-it-yourself could be like the seven-week phone sales training. The done for you is we're gonna give you the script so that you can model, swipe, copy, and deploy. Okay, which is what Russell is doing over here as item number three. I apologize if this speed is giving you a headache, <laughs> but uh, again, the whole goal here is to really deconstruct. It's not so much about what Russell is saying, but the entire structure of it all. Okay, so notice that what Russell is doing now is he is building up the and recapping, okay? So notice, the first thing you're gonna get is six months for, for uh, click funnels. You're gonna get Funnel Builder Secret, which is the seven week training. You're gonna get all of my swipe files. So now notice that the next thing that Russell is doing is he is doing a quick stack recap, okay? Of item one, two, and three, showing that the total value of this entire thing is, I don't know, so about $9,000 in value so far. Okay, so he's slowly building up the value because people will forget. And the whole purpose of this recap of what you're going to get is the mistake that many marketers make is whenever they have like five things, seven things, nine things, they just go through it from item one to five, item one to nine. And when you are talking about item number nine, they have forgotten what item one, two, three, four, five is. 
Okay, so what Russell's doing right now is he's doing a quick recap of what item one, two, three is. Uh, before he moves on to the next portion. White files, uh, the videos, and, uh, and the actual pre-built photos that you have to account. Total value, $9,550. Okay. So, next thing you need to talk to Nishan about building your list. So, second software... Right, so now he's talking about the next item. Okay, and the next item is... Man, I want to scroll back a little bit. Okay. okay. Now, we're a follow-up member. You can sign together. We have 50 follow-up funds. We have 10,000 contacts and a whole bunch more. Okay. Now, um, uh, in step number one, our success here is... Now you have follow-up funds. This is the software tool side of the phone. You can send all the emails. You don't need any other email response. Okay, so now... Remember, the step number two, he is talking about follow-up funnels. Now, why is this piece here crucial? It is because, if you remember correctly, he has already established the value of building up your own list and how it's the most important piece. And every single item that is being offered here is directly linked back to what is being taught. And that's what you need to be doing on your webinars. Notice how, again, I'm bringing this part back. Okay, Russell talked about the importance of reviving your subscribers and he is now including this part as part of the offer, okay, um, because the value has already been established. So over here, one of the things that Russell would do, he didn't do it here on this webinar, is every single time you learn something from someone or you bought something from someone or you interviewed someone, Try to put a dollar amount of value to that. So what Russell's saying over here is he got uh, Yara uh, Golden to, to create this course and he is including this course as part of this program. Um, one of the things that I love Russell, uh, that he does all the time, love how he does it, is he will actually put like the paycheck or how much he paid this other person in order to have that thing there. So like... Um, that's something that I do as well. So if I learn something from someone and I pay that person, let's say 10,000, 15,000 to either consult with that person, I would actually show that. It's like, this is an actual payment from PayPal or receipt that I paid this person for 10,000, 15,000. Um, and now with that person's permission, I'm including that training, that interview, that consulting into this offer. Okay. So, what Russell's doing over here now is he is continuing with the stack, okay? So, that's what he's doing. So now he is including more items, okay? We don't need to go further into uh, these items. The whole purpose of that is so item number four, number five, right? Which is basically the follow-up funnels, the uh, list building secrets, the subscriber reviver challenge, all of that, right? So, as we go deeper and deeper into the offer, you'll see that Russell's continuing to build his stack. And I want you to notice what's happening right now, okay? As Russell is building this stack, this stack, can you notice one thing that he does so well? Is that, notice that this second portion over here on the email software was based upon secret number two. Remember secret number two? What was secret number two? If you remember secret number two, Secret number two was about the internal and how easy it is to build up your own list through a break-even funnel. And he showed the different funnels that does that. And he, because of secret number two, he established the importance of building an email list. So now to help you build that email list, he's also including the email software together with the training in there. Now for this next portion, what was it? It was secret number three. Remember, he talked about the external. Oh, the external is, well, funnels work, but I don't know how to drive traffic, so this whole thing would work. So as part of the third big item in secret number three, he is now including the traffic secrets training, the ad skills, all of the training related to traffic that is related to secret number three. You see, Russell is not creating random offers and that's what I call diarrhea offers, where you'll see that a lot of marketers, they list down a ton of stuff, right? And I call them diarrhea offers is because there's a ton of it, but they're all crap. Russell is strategically placing offers based upon what he taught, where he already established the value and the payoff of these different things, okay? So once he has established this stack, and he has built up the value of the entire thing, okay? Which is like the values right now, 12,500. Once he has done that, notice what he is doing. 
okay? So let, let's see what he does. So notice that what you're gonna get is, you get to build your funnel, you gotta get a follow up, which is, so notice this is the importance of building funnel. He links it back to click funnels. Number two is, secret number two was the importance of building a list and how easy it is to can do it yourself, break even funnels. And now as part of the offer, he's having the follow up funnels uh, software to get a training. And number three, secret number three was why traffic is actually super simple and why it's not a problem. And now as part of the offer, he has training related to traffic. So notice what he's doing here, right? So now finally, he goes on to the close. Okay, so let's see how he transitions to the close. Okay. Now, all this package did was give you where you finally had a funnel with profit, where you put a dollar in advertising in, and get two dollars and a whole bunch of customers back out. Okay, so one second, okay. Um, notice what he's doing. Let's listen for another 30 seconds. It would be worth it. Of course it would be, right? Now, all this did was help you share your message with more people, get your product or service out in the hands of more people, it would be worth it. Yeah, for sure. Now, if all this. Okay, notice what he's doing over here. He is, so sidebar, this is where you want to justify the total value at retail. So remember this, right now he has established that the value of this entire thing is 12,500. And what he's doing here is he's justifying full price, full price at retail with the words, if all this did was, okay? What you wanna be doing is you wanna justify whatever value that you've built up, usually about 10 times more than your actual price that you're gonna sell get your audience to see that even at retail, it is actually worth that amount, okay? So ask yourself if let's say you had, I don't know, a, a training on, on property investing and the total value you've built up is so far $10,000. You're gonna say, so let me ask you a question. If all this did was to help you conservatively find one deal at a very conservative 10% below market value, would it be worth it? Would it be worth $10,000? If all this did was to help you, give you a skill set so that you'll always be able to be on the lookout so that you do not have to make the most common mistakes investors make in property. Do you think that and avoiding those mistakes would save you at least $10,000? Ask yourself, what would that this statement be for you? If it's on book publishing, if all this did was to help you finally publish the book that you've always wanted to publish, but never did, is that worth $10,000 to this, to you? If all this did was to help you publish that book and make it into a number one best-selling book on Amazon, even if it was just for a day, would it be worth $10,000 to you, right? If all this did was to publish that book, something that you're proud of, that you can actually pass on as a legacy move to your friends, to your kids, where you wrote down your life most important experiences. Is that move worth $10,000 to you? Would it be worth it, right? So ask yourself that question. If all this did was and justify the full price, so Russell has not revealed the full price yet, he's getting the audience to see, yeah, that's right. Even if it was $12,000, if I could build a funnel that's profitable, of course it's worth $12,000. Right? If I could help get my message more to, to more people, of course it's worth 12,000, okay? What can you be doing to, to show your audience that that one move would be worth it? So here's what he does next. So that's what he's doing, right? Sidebar, he is justifying that even at 12,500, it's well worth it. And this is when he transitions to the next piece. The next piece here is um, he has two choices. Okay, let me show you how he revealed it though. This is important. Okay, let's see. Thousand five hundred dollars, and in your future, sell for two thousand nine hundred dollars. But if you're here today, I want to make this offer insanely crazy and insanely irresistible. And honestly, we're about halfway done with you. There's more stuff coming. Um, we need to, I'm gonna ask everything about right here uh, because you're here today, tonight, here in the world, in the world for just one payment of nine hundred dollars today. Okay. Now, um, I want you to send it. If you're going to close now, twelve months of close right now is three thousand five hundred sixty dollars. You're using six months of that for free with your investment today. Like, go to your site. There it is. Turn nine hundred dollars a month. Then you got eighteen thousand people pay that right now. You're using it for free for the next six months. Just crazy. So now you got two choices. Option one is don't do anything, not take this leap of faith, which as you can see, one hundred percent is free. Or the second option is just point up this tiny little investment today, create all that you can get in turn, and just give it a shot. Just try to see if it's gonna work for you. Hey, you're gonna model. If we can't make you money, we don't deserve you. We stand by. Okay. So now notice that um, he does the actual price reveal. Okay. So after get so sidebar after getting the audience to see that, yeah, at 12,000, it's well worth it. That is when the actual reveal of the actual price is done over here. Um, and getting the audience to show that you have two choices, okay? 
which is what you want to be doing as well, right? Show your audience that they have two choices. Do nothing and nothing happens or make the investment um, where they will be protected. And uh, that's when he announces the guarantee risk reversal, which is next, coming up next. So that's what he's doing as well, right? So to, to sweeten the pot, okay, this is basically known as a risk reversal. Ask yourself, how can you show them and demonstrate that there's really no risk on their end if they were to take action. Um, and then after that, let's move on to the next piece, which is basically the different bonuses. Watch the video down there, show you how to do it, and then you all go to the calendar, and the calendar, you see where they're building at, and they rotate to these level funnels, you say, okay. Now, I'm not gonna go through the specifics of it all, but notice that right now, he, Russell, is giving out a few different bonuses, funnel analytics, the software, um, and all of these other things that's included. So, sidebar, what do you want to do? You always want to have some sort of scarcity, some sort of bonus that answers the question of, if not now, then when? How can you make it painful that if they don't take action right now, there are consequences? Can you include bonuses, whether it's in pricing? Can you have um, uh, or, or, or other items that's involved? Can you have some sort of urgency Right, this $997 offer for six months of ClickFunnels is something that Russell has actually never done before until this webinar. Um, most of the time, for six months, it has always been $2,000. Um, but if not now, then when? Right? So, finally, okay, let, let's see what he does. Okay, the, this is when he's, he's now moved on to the four, phase number four, which is the close. After establishing the entire thing, together with bonuses. So you'll see this, bonus number one, bonus number two, right? Total value now $30,000 with the call to action, okay? Now, what is he doing next? Is you'll notice that he's telling the audiences exactly what to do, which is basically open a new tab, go to trafficworkshop.com forward slash special. You need to tell your audience what to do, even though it seems obvious. And uh, let's see what, what happens. Hear that? So even though it sounds obvious, we can't assume that the audience will know what to do. So Russell's being direct. So all you need to do right now is open a new tab. Go to website name.com, you know. So for, for this example, trafficworkshop.com forward slash special. Okay. To get started. So, so Russell is kind of recapping the entire thing, right? Making the close. Um, and after that, that's when I came on to kind of, un I can't even remember what I did. Let's see what I did. I'm getting back more than $2 on the front end on my free touching offers. And that's why I've got so many different free touching offers. And it's literally... Okay, so I'm kind of re kind of reclosing and uh, answering different objections. We did a Q&A. But this over here, you'll see, okay, notice the structure. Because uh, we believe that it's super crucial to constantly moving in. And if you take a look at your online trainings that's included over here, that's funnel fix. That, that is insane, right? I would say I have bought a lot of those. So all I'm doing now is I am kind of closing the entire thing. And over here, this is where we just went freestyle Q&A based on all the comments in here. So you can see that this was literally 90 minutes in. This is, th we, we could have ended it in here. Um, and after that, we're just kind of hanging out and answering people's questions. But the webinar itself, you can see it's one hour, 27 minutes. And that's kind of where we end it. With the last part, okay? So this is where the last part was Q&A. Now, when I say Q&A, um, I would normally answer objections. So this is where people who have still some objections and the, the question and answers that you get is actually really good feedback on what are the things that you didn't do a good job in? And that's why the, those questions keep happening over and over again, so that you know that the next time you do your presentation, you need to add that into your presentation. So after that, that's when I was just hanging out with them, showing them a bunch of you know different videos uh, 
my my rap video that I did. Um, and we're just hanging out with them, answering questions together with Russell for about 30 minutes. Um, and that's where we ended it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Let me know in, so understand guys, my goal here for you is so that you can see that this thing is, is, is not theory. Like literally in 90 minutes, um, as a direct result of this one webinar, we did over $300,000 in sales. Uh, and uh, this would be eventually automated and made evergreen. Um, and when you understand this skill set, you will see why this is probably the most lucrative skill set that an online marketer can possess. The ability to speak, present, close um, on these different platforms. Um, and as always, um, let me know in the comments below what your biggest takeaway is. Uh, be sure to smash the like button. This helps the algorithm out a little bit. And subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one.